Okay, um, Margaret, papers today. Yes, it's a bit of a, an Ivor Callaly epidemic, as you say, day five of the infection, it seems. Um, the story seems set to run and run. Uh, of course, we know that uh, Ivor um, has lost membership of the party due to uh, claiming 2,900 euro for four mobile phones and car kits, I think, in November 2007. But the latest update on the front page of the Irish De Independent says that Callaly claims he got... He does. And, you know, we'll just do the front pages now. Um, Irish Independent, Callaly, I got 1,500 euros from invoice firm Chief Son. And Battle Senator faces three investigations over expenses. The Irish Times... Shrinking tax take signals weak recovery and tough budget. Uh, Garda Commissioner writes to Shannon over Callaly expenses. Irish Examiner. Garda Chief leads Callaly probe. Then in the Irish Daily Mail, there's jobs carnage at the banks and papers that could jail Ivor Callaly are lodged. The Irish Sun, there's uh, Bono. You two feared I'd gone mad. Stars morphine shock. Um, there's also the porn secret of Graz GM TV pal. There's the Irish Daily Star and there's Viva Aviva there. But there's Ivor may get 160k plus pension. That's in the Daily Star. And in the Daily Telegraph in London, they have a very elegant photograph of the actress Emily Blunt. But their lead story is something I suspect is going to be happening here soon. They say pension of 66 within five years. So uh, a lot to be talked about there. So um, Mar Margaret, uh, what's following Ivor in excitement in the papers? Uh, well, I have said the Irish Independent has a lot of fantastic nuggets here on councillors' expenses. In uh, They have quite a few pages on... Um, let's see, on Connacht and Ulster councillors, what they earn and what they've been claiming. And although I only have bits of it here, uh, one of the most interesting uh, segments here is on page 26 of the Irish Independent, uh, where they interview a councillor, uh, Jerry Ginty, an independent councillor in Mayo County Council, who said that the topic of expenses is untouchable, um, that councillors receive a taxable payment as well as an annual allowance, non-taxable conference expenses, and a mobile phone allowance. And he says that if, if you raise this uh, issue at the county council, the rea reaction you get is like you're trying to cut the head off a newborn baby. Wow. So there seems to be a great deal of entitlement in the councils. Um, there's a fantastic breakdown as well on page 27, and it shows that out of those councillors, the ones who seem to be making the most money are, no surprise, Fianna Fáil councillors, closely followed by Fine Gael councillors. So, um, for example... Is there competition between them? Um, I, you have to wonder, I, you know, yeah. is, and some interesting anal anomalies here that um, we, I'm sure will be explained in the rest of the paper with jumps of 30,000 from one year to the next by some councillors. Um, it shows that some of, the, some of them received retirement gratuities at the time. But uh, they also say that a lot of the councillors are not attending events in their own counties, but they seem to be attending events in other counties and claiming mileage for it. And I think Ross Common was one of the worst. Um, let's see. Here we go. I think that's on the front page, if you look on the Indo, that uh, they were t paid tens of thousands of euro in mileage and overnight expenses to take up to 164 places in other summer schools across the country. Uh, so Fianna Falls Orla Layden was the only councillor to book into the local heritage and culture conference in Caffery in 2008. Who, who, who and the list, uh, Layden? Uh, Orla Layden. And so she was the dutiful, she was the good yes. councillor. Uh, not a singular count single councillor went to the Youth Suicide in a Changing Society conference in Athlone in 2008. Yeah. So not showing a lot of loyalty, really, to their counties, but yeah. seem to enjoy traveling to uh, their what, what was that uh, event again that they didn't turn up to? Uh, the, not a single councillor went to the Youth Suicide in a Changing Society conference in Athlone. Wow. You would think quite an important social issue, especially for it their would, constituents. It would, but I suppose many must have thought not a lot of fun there. Uh,